I do, folks, grumpy vlogger. Well, I'll tell you what. Yesterday was a wild and crazy day. I'm filming this on Saturday. What is it? The 4th or the 5th? I can't remember now. Uh, of November 2022. <coughs> well, it looks like they got a college game going on up here, so I want to make a different turn and uh, try to avoid some of this traffic through here. These people don't understand where I said, don't park on this side of the street. They don't give a damn. They park wherever the hell they feel like. Yeah. Football field, that's what pays. Yeah, that's sports. Wow. Something I didn't expect to see right here in Oklahoma. I mean, not right here in town. About three houses, four houses down from us. They're, they got a flagpole there and they're flying and I happen to look up and it's an American flag, the, the, the half against the pole, you know, from the pole out halfway through is an American flag. <coughs> and then it switches to the, uh, the uh, Confederate battle flag, stars and bars. <coughs> And uh, it's like, okay, well. You know, and this is a mixed neighborhood. I mean, we got, we got mainly older whites, uh, some youngers, and, and you know, we have a lot of Hispanics, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of blacks. So, you know, we have a little bit of everything in this neighborhood and you just don't see that very often. I mean, 20 years ago, yeah, you would have seen it because it wasn't considered. And that's the funny thing about the Stars and Bars. It has a different meaning for a lot of people. A lot of people, it represents a a racist thing. You know, it's it's a it's a racial attack. Uh, other people, it's you know, Southern heritage, and it depends on. You know, and I I say the way the person flies it depends on your. The, what it means to somebody is the person who's flying it. <coughs> you know, here in the South, it's been a big thing. And, you know, we don't have, we really don't have a lot of racial tensions here in Muskogee. Uh, or, you know, our, our mayor is, is black. Uh, he, uh, admittedly, he's the first black mayor we've had. And he seems to be doing a fair, a fair amount, of, you know, a fairly decent job. So. If anybody's wondering, I'm headed over to uh, uh, Ernie's Pharmacy to pick up a script for me and a, and a script for Judy. I have got to get my blood pressure pill filled. I'm running, I've uh, run out of one and I'm going to have to call the VA Monday. I've been going to do it all week and have gotten sidetracked. So. But anyways, yeah, that's a little a little cool today. It's 61 degrees right now, but it's actually probably in the 50s. This thing always shows a little warmer. Sorry about the the off coloring there, but it can't be helped. There's sun coming in from that direction. <coughs> Tonight, we go back an hour, and I wish that I saw Kelly's first, Kelly Short's first Friday at Ready, Set, Drone, and I wish he was correct and that we were going to stay at standard time. I just, you know, wish we'd stay off of daylight and forget about it or uh, switch to daylight and leave it that way, you know. What the hell we got going on up here? I'm going to get over in this lane here just in case, but uh, yeah, we ha I had, I pr and I wanted to give a shout out to uh, uh, Doc Murdoch and Steve Carpenter. The aerials for reaching out to me last night and in the during all those storms. Yes, we had them. And I, when Doc Murdoch, when Chris asked me how far Idabel was from, I was thinking of uh, uh, there's another town up on the other side of there, kind of uh, I don't know, north of Tulsa. And I was thinking that, you know, I was thinking that's where it was at. And no, this was further south. So it's about an hour and a half away from me. So it was down by McAllister. But still, 
we had a lot of rain. I checked on my cousin. Usually he calls at night, but he, you know, see how we're getting hit by a storm. But they didn't get much up there where he lives. And so uh, it was, he didn't think to call me. So I called him to check. And he, uh, uh, he said that they didn't get a lot. But we got pretty good steady rain. We got, we got some heavy rain to medium rain so we got a good soaking last night and the temperature is darn sure cooler today as you can tell by my heavier jacket or my heavier coat and uh i love this bomber jacket it is comfortable it's all leather you know distressed so anyways what the hell mister i mean they're doing all this road work here i don't know what the hell they're doing but doing all this road work and or they got all blocked off and guys just turned out in the middle of it all anyways i'm getting ready i'm gonna close this out this will probably go up on tuesday's video maybe and i'm gonna say what i always say be kind treat each other better than you treat yourself remember everybody matters and i truly mean that God bless, God help the USA. Don't forget to vote on Tuesday. Uh, I'm the Grumpy Vlogger, and I'm running a red light, and I am out here. Bye-bye for now.